are so needy. Come over here. Oh, my, my 70 pound lap dog. Is that what you are? Are you a lap dog? You don't like me in the faces. Oh. No. Don't say hi to my face. Say hi to the camera. Smile. <laughs> You're so pretty. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got like dog drool on my face. I am here today to do my Christmas book haul. It's a little delayed because some of the books just came in the mail. I got money for Christmas and Kaya. I got money for Christmas and obviously with that money I decided to buy a shit ton of books because Merry Christmas to me, right? Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right on into it. So the first book that I got for Christmas was Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I actually purchased this one myself with my own Mario coins, but there were Mario coins that I got for Christmas. So this book, I'm pumped to read, like legitimately so pumped. It's a book that is told all through like emails and text messages and articles and reports and things like that so I'm pretty excited to be honest I don't know exactly what it's about but I know that everybody loves it and I feel like I will too so I got that one next up from Jeff I got Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo which is the first book in this I believe it's only a duology it's set in the same world as the Grisha trilogy which I have not read but I do own should I read that first I don't know I probably won't but anyways this is a book about a heist I'm really good at descriptions of books, but I don't know what it's about. I just know that it's incredibly popular and that I incredibly want to read it. And its pages are black. Enough said. And I just dropped it on the floor. Next up, I got Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, which I am also very excited to read. This is about three sisters who have to, like, kill each other off in order to claim the crown to be the queen, which sounds crazy good and I really enjoy Kendar Blake's writing. I love the Anna Dressed in Blood duology so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one too and I got this one from Jeff. Next up is another one that I bought myself and that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I cannot wait to read this book. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon was one of my favorite books of 2016 and I just have really high hopes for this book. I hope I'm not setting it up for failure but I am pumped. Next up is one that I bought myself again and one that I've already read and completed and loved. It's my one of my new favorite books. That is A Dog's Purpose and this is by W. Bruce Cameron. If you have not read this book yet and you are a dog lover, you must read this book. I will go more into detail in my next wrap up, but all I can say is perfection this book I'm so excited for the movie look how cute the dog is mm. this next one is one that I am so incredibly excited for it was a Christmas gift to both me and Jeff from my brother and his wife and that is the Game of Thrones pop-up guide to Westeros so what that means is this entire book is a pop-up guide in fact the entire book unfolds into a map of Westeros so like literally there's the wall hello and not just that, but like, even this, the side sections, jeez, oh side sections pop up and these little things pop out and it's just incredibly detailed and the entire thing, like the back, hold on, the back here pops off so you can unfold the whole thing. This is one of the coolest books I think that we own now, like it's amazing and it's very interesting. It has lots of like little write-ups about all of the different families and um, lands and areas and things like that. So we got that. Then for my mom, I received the first two, oh my God, so heavy, the first two illustrated copies of Harry Potter by JK Rowling. So I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone illustrated by Jim Kay and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I want to get one of these every year that they come out. They are beautiful. They are like the perfect collector's item. And the next time that I decide to reread Harry Potter, it is going to be using these books. Okay, next up is my order from Book Outlet because that's where I decided to buy a bunch of books from. So I just got my package in the mail. I'm so excited. So these are the last books that I have to show you. And I'm just opening this box now, so I haven't even looked inside and I can't even remember 
what I got. Oh, I remember. I remember. The first one I got is Ice Kissed, and this is by Amanda Hawking, and this is the second book in the Canaan Chronicles. The first book is Frostfire, which I do own, and I am planning on reading this year. So I saw this one, and I thought, this one actually had like the series has really good ratings and I don't hear anyone talking about it which I find very strange but anyways so this one actually has an even higher rating than the first book so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find the third book which is called Crystal Kingdom oh it's not even out yet I don't know it says coming soon I don't know how old this book is but anyways I got that book there's a lot of rambling then I got Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rose. This is the third book in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I already own the first two books and then I saw this one so I thought obviously I needed to get it. This one is hardcover and it was super cheap so why not, right? The next one is kind of the whole reason why I end up, ended up making an order from Book Outlet and that was Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. So this is the novella collection for the Lunar Chronicles. Obviously I had to have it to complete my set. I just need to own everything that Marissa Meyer puts out. I have read a few of these novellas already, like I've already read The Queen's Army, Lichis, The Little Android, I don't know, that might be it. So I've got quite a few more to read and I'll probably end up rereading the ones that I've already read as well. Ah. The next one I got is Trial by Fire, and this is by Josephine Angelini, and I don't remember what this book is about, but I was looking through all of the books on Book Outlet. This one has a super high rating, and I remember thinking, wow, that sounds super interesting. All I know is that it's a fantasy, and that's about it, but the cover looks awesome. It says, this world is trying to kill Lily Proctor. Her life-threatening allergies make it increasingly difficult to live a normal life and after a completely humiliating incident ruins her first and perhaps only real party, she's ready to disappear. It doesn't make it sound like it's a fantasy, but if you look at that cover, you think, I'm pretty sure it's definitely a fantasy. Anyways, I'm excited. Beautiful cover. Same dealio with this one. This is called The Novice by Taryn Matharu and this is the Summoner book one has a super high rating on Goodreads and I saw it and I thought why the heck not once again I don't freaking know what this book is about he can summon demons but can he win a war Fletcher is working as a blacksmith's apprentice when he discovers that he has a rare ability to summon demons from another world subsequently chased from his village for a crime he did not commit Fletcher must travel with his demon Ignatius to an academy for adepts where the gifted are taught the art of summoning. Along with nobles and commoners, Fletcher endures grueling lessons that will prepare him to serve as a battle mage in the Emperor's War against these savage orcs. But sinister forces infect new friendships and rivalries are Toby. And rivalries are formed at this school. With no one but Ignatus by his side, Fletcher must decide where his loyalties lie. As soon as he learns, the fate of the Empire is in his hands. So that sounds pretty cool. Obviously, it's a fantasy, paranormal type of book. And yeah, I don't know. It sounds super interesting. And then I've had my eye on these ones for a little while, and I thought, why the heck not? So I don't even know which one's first, which one's second. I think this one's first. So I have... Wait... No, I think this one's first. I have Dream A Little Dream by Kirsten Gear, and I also have Dream On, and these are two books in the Silver Trilogy, book one and two. Kirsten Gear is the author who wrote the Ruby Red Trilogy, which I haven't read yet, but I do own, and I probably should read. These covers got me. I know, like look at them, they're walking through a keyhole. A keyhole, you guys, so that's really cool. I have no idea, I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it's about. And I don't wanna read the back of either of these books because I don't know which one is the first one and which one is the second one. So I got these ones. They look cool. They're nice and short and I'm excited. Deal with it. All right guys, so those are all of the books that I received or bought for Christmas and I am excited. Let me know down below if you've read any of the ones that I have listed here because I'd be interested to know what you think about it. If there's any of these books that you're like, I really would like you to read that one soon so I can hear what you think about it, you know, because some people like to do that. So let me know that as well. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.